Welcome to our tutorial on how to set up payroll deductions in your Sage BusinessWorks program. This short presentation will show you how to set up payroll deductions, how to assign the deductions to your employees, and how to enter the deduction amounts in your time card entries. Deductions are used for recording fringe benefits such as medical insurance, retirement or pension plan contributions, union dues, workers' compensation, or local taxes. Regular taxes such as federal and state withholding do not need to be set up. If you have a deduction that is part employee and part employer contribution, you must set up as two separate deductions and assign both deduction IDs to the employee in Maintain Employees. A maximum combination of 30 deductions and or other pays can be assigned to an employee. Important, be sure to consult the Internal Revenue Service or your tax advisor when you set up deductions. Many times there are special requirements for how they appear on the W-2 form and these rules change frequently. Now let's start out by setting up a deduction. The setup deduction is found in the payroll module under Utilities and then Maintain Deductions. I'm going to set up a new deduction for my health insurance. Each deduction is given a unique ID and description. I'm going to use INSU for my ID and for the description I'm going to call it my health insurance. A deduction method will determine how the deduction is calculated. Select the drop-down arrow on the right to see the list of available methods. You will have an option to set up a table. When a table method is selected, the table button becomes available to select. When you select table, a screen appears where you can enter different base amounts and rates to calculate the deduction. For my health insurance deduction, I am going to select fixed amount per pay period because the same amount will be deducted each pay period for this deduction. The category determines whether the deduction is withheld from the individual or is paid by the company and whether it is the same or different amount for everyone. For example, individual or system. Individual means the amount deducted from each employee will be different. System means the amount deducted for each employee will be the same, allowing you to enter the amount to be deducted when setting up the deduction. I am selecting individual because I need this deducted from the employee's payroll check and the amount will be different for each employee. The next step is deciding which general ledger account to debit and or credit. If this was a system deduction, this amount field is available to enter the amount of the deduction. If there is a dollar limit on the deduction, enter the amount, otherwise leave the field blank. When you do enter a limit, you must then specify what period the limit applies to. The deduction will then stop calculating when it reaches the limit for the period you specified. For example, if you have a deduction to be withheld of $100 per month and your employee is paid weekly, you would have $25 per week deducted from their check. However, when you have five payroll periods in the month, you would need to set the limit of $100 per month so as not to exceed the amount deducted from your employee's payroll check. You would enter the $100 and then select the period per month. I will go ahead and delete this as my deduction does not have a limit. If you want the deduction to occur within a specified period, select the from and enter the desired beginning and end dates of the deduction. If you want the deduction to always occur, select always. The base exempt and per exempt fields are only used if a table method has been selected. On the right hand side, you will select the taxability of the deduction. Each type of tax is listed. 
If the box is checked, the deduction is subject to tax. If the box is not checked, that means the deduction is not subject to tax or is a pre-tax deduction. For example, if you want the deduction to be taken out before taxes are calculated or a pre-tax deduction, you would remove the check mark from the appropriate tax boxes. It is important to consult your tax advisor as to the taxability of the deduction before choosing the taxable status of your deduction. It's also important to note that once the deduction has been used and amounts have been withheld from employee checks, you will not be able to change the taxable status of this deduction. You will be required to create a new deduction with the correct taxable status. You will also see the tax category drop down. This may be necessary if you are setting up a deduction that is a local tax deduction and should be calculated on tax reports for your state. If this were a workers' compensation type of deduction, the workers' comp drop-down box will be available. This is based on the method you have selected for the deduction, normally a percent of gross or percent of hourly pay. If the deduction needs to appear on the W-2, select the W-2 button. The W-2 screen allows you to select the retirement plan or the deferred compensation boxes. You would select these if they are to be checked on the W-2 form. In the box number to use, you'll manually type the box number where the deduction should appear on the W-2 and the appropriate ID to use. You should read the W-2 instructions and check with your tax advisor if the deduction is to appear on the W-2 and which box and ID should be entered. After the deduction is set up, it will need to be added to the employees that will be using this deduction. From the Payroll menu, go to Employees and then Maintain Employees. You will select the Deductions button and then select the deduction you wish to add. If the deduction is a fixed amount per pay period or a percent of gross or percent of hourly pay, you will need to enter the dollar amount or the percent to be deducted each payroll. Since my deduction was set up as a fixed amount per pay period, I'm going to enter $50 for the amount to be deducted from each payroll check for this employee. You can also inactivate a deduction for a specific period. An example of a deduction you may need to suspend may be on a bonus check when the employee has requested to not have any retirement or pension plan deducted from their bonus check. Once you have set your deduction and assigned to your employees, you're now ready to use the deduction. When entering time cards, any deduction that is using a method of variable entered on time card will need to be selected on the earnings type and the amount entered for the deduction. For example, I will select the deduction of meals and enter $45. Notice that my health insurance is not listed in the earnings type. That's because it was set up as a fixed amount per pay period. While in the time card entry, selecting the deduction other pays button will list the deductions and other pays that are assigned to the employee that will automatically calculate during time card calculation you can activate or inactivate the deduction or other pay from this list. You must reactivate any deduction or other pay for it to begin calculating on future checks for the employee. Here is a payroll register that is similar to a check stub that shows the deductions and other pays assigned that were calculated on this paycheck. Any deduction or other pay with an asterisk indicates it was a company paid deduction. Other reports available for deductions and other pays are in the payroll module under reports and then deduction reports. 
You can select to view a report for a total by deduction or employee or a period activity report that lists the amount from each payroll check. In this short video, we have shown you how to set up payroll deductions, how to assign deductions to employees, and how to enter deduction amounts in time card entries. This concludes our video on payroll deductions. More detailed information on this topic can be found in our knowledge base on sagekb.com in the article titled, How to Set Up Payroll Deductions.